last time I was at Cannes. So when I was walking to the red carpet, everybody was complimenting me, and I was enjoying. I was like, thank you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you like the bindi. And I totally forgot that there's a red carpet that shuts. I have run and just about made to the red carpet. Sanam, I need to go to the loo. So she was like, "How? Forget it. Behave yourself, Adhu." So there was this whole operation that happened. I mean, can beauty be a burden? Aditi, this is the officially the last of our Cannes interviews. Okay. Oh my God, yeah. But of course, we're not in Cannes because our dates didn't match. We <laughs> had to know. make. Bandra as sparkling <laughs> as can, so I'm fully relying on you to make this conversation amazing. Okay, so nobody even notices that yeah, this is French Riviera. I hai. know, right? You look gorgeous. Thank you. You look stunning, and I remember last year when we met in Cannes. Yes. In that lovely villa, when we did this talk by the pool, you said to me that 100% I'll falter, but that's also going to be me. Yeah. So what did you learn from last year that made you do better this year? So last year, the time, the run up to can time, was fraught. <laughs> My stylist Sanam was in tears. I was in tears. Tempers were flying, and both of us are like twins. Like we go on and fight, and then we kiss and we make up and we cry, and so all this drama was happening. Like. Full drama, but this is can-related drama. Absolutely, okay. And also, there's a lot of pressure to deliver. There is that plus everybody tells you various things. At some point, Sabia and Nonita Kalra had a chat with me, and they were just like, "Breathe, you do you." So now that time was about three weeks of tension, okay. Till I had these conversations, and I was just like, "Breathe out, chill." You know, I mean, it's just a Different place, same thing. Okay, so that's how I dealt with it. This year, what was different was, and the learning was that three weeks was reduced to half a day because I was also shooting nights. I was really like underslept and just stressed with a lot of things that I had to finish. So because all of that took my time, I was not at all stressed about Cam. And my learning was literally that that you can this like. The butterflies that you feel, you can reduce them to like a few hours before you get on the red carpet, and that saves everybody a lot of tears, including yourself. <laughs> Literally, that's what I did this time, and it was really a lot of fun. You looked like you were having a lot of fun. Yeah, I was chilling, and also I had the whole L'Oreal team with me, which really does help, you know, because they are like the 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 head of the Paris team. She was literally on the red carpet, and literally like you know, she gave me a hug. And said, "You will shine. We are very proud of you." So I felt like so, like thanks. I can do this. And then I was alone. I was only now start carrying the weight of that gown, which you described as as big as a house. It was bigger than most Bombay houses. <laughs> okay, tell me the logistics of these massive gowns. Like, can you sit? Can you use the bathroom? How does it work? <laughs> I put a reel, which was obviously not taken by me. <laughs> Uh, of uh, so just before I was getting on, can I talk about these things? Absolutely. You're even more proper than I am. <laughs> no, you must talk about these things because I want to know like how does it work? What are the logistics? <laughs> It's called determination. So just before so I was at the L'Oreal lounge and I was like, Sanam, I need to go to the loo. So she was like, How? Forget it. Behave yourself, Adhu. And I was like, No, I'm okay. I have to go to the loo. So there was this whole operation that happened. Like two people came in with me. Now Sanam is like, she's like my sister. I don't care. I was like, Turn around because we had to do it like this. There's no other way. Also fitting into that loo. So I had to go in like this, like this, like this. It was quite a, it was quite a this thing. But it was an adventure. But. I realized many things about heavy gowns. One is that heavy gowns drag on a red carpet, but they don't don't drag on marble floors. So through the hotel, I was like, I don't need any help, and I was gliding. And the moment I got onto a carpet, I was like, <laughs> but luckily, I figured that in the corridor of the hotel. So so I said, Lord, yeah. somebody help me. So there was one lovely person called Diana who was sent with me. So I felt very like. Very well taken care of. Very pampered. Very princessy. You very look like a princess. Huh? Yes. Well, yeah. I I was owning that vibe. I was just like, I'm going to do this and not be apologetic about it. 
Me and if people say it's so princessy, I'll be like, that's okay. Present, ma'am. No problem. <laughs> so, Aditi, some of the feedback I've heard about the festival this year was that it was just too many people from India who had too little connection with the movies walking the red carpet for the sake of walking the red carpet, which eventually kind of uh, you know uh, phrase the equity of Absolutely. what that really means. Yes. What is your take on this? You know, it's really, really hard for me to say anything because I was also there and uh, I've always felt like at, at film festivals, you either have to go there as a cinema buff. There are three reasons. I mean, you, you are a cinema buff and you backpack and you do like, you know, you're literally waiting outside movies and dying to watch them. Or then, you know, you are associated with a brand or whatever and you walk for that. Or then you have a film there, you know. And if it's none of the above, then I don't, I, I think that call is on you as well. You know, I know that, um, again, it's hard for me to say this because it sounds... It's, it's each it's, person to exactly. themselves. Yeah. Right. And yeah. I don't want to judge anybody and everybody should do what they think is right. But in my opinion, for myself, that's what I would do. I would try and make sure that I am doing something uh, that adds value to somebody at that festival. Uh, also bring something to the table in terms of what it is that I do and also there has to be respect for and value for what it is that is being represented and I think really that onus is on us as well it's very easy to say you know why did XYZ do this or whatever but we do the onus is on us as well you know we have to be responsible and we have to know why we're there and what we are adding to and what value we're bringing to it and also you're so right about the credibility of the festival itself and and us as a country and us as an industry and I think it's all very important how to solve it and what to do about it this is my simple understanding of it that the onus is on each of us individually because the larger thing we can't control right absolutely so yeah yeah, yeah. no that's not for us to control but the yeah. sort of the optics for India yeah absolutely. Uh, it's important yeah it's important to have like a legitimate reason absolutely you know and if yeah. you don't it just kind of dilutes no absolutely and it i feel it also affects us you know as individuals and um and i'm not talking about the judgment i'm talking about like just you know uh being self-aware yeah and respect i think it's, that's what it boils and dignity that's what it boils down to yeah yeah including for yourself absolutely uh you know though this year was was a big year for women at can yes. for the first time there were seven women in competition the palm door was won by a female filmmaker justine trayer uh there is also l'oreal's lights on women award yes. how do you think aditi that's going to kind of help to push the cause forward i think every step helps i mean every step in that direction and i think awareness and and you know, L'Oreal is, has been the festival partner for years and years and years and years. I mean, it, it, they are associated with Cannes in every way. And that's what you think of the moment you think of Cannes. And when a huge company like that constantly pushes, you know, for, um, uh, you know, uh, you know, for this whole thing of walk your worth, I think it's so important, whether as in, uh, whether as human beings, whether as uh, artists or as women primarily, it's so important to, you know, to not let, to, to not wait for other people to find your worth and to find value in you, but to find value in yourself. And I think this whole thing of, you know, um, are we represented well enough in cinema and in any, in, in, in any, any walk of life for that matter, again, it does start from us, you know, to, to be worth it to yourself first and to celebrate your value, to celebrate your worth, to believe in what you bring to the table and to stand up tall and to say that, you know, this is what I stand for and this is what I will do. And it comes from little, little decisions. And I know that at the beginning it is tough, but the more you stand tall and the more you say that this is important to me, that's when I think people also find value in you and then you don't hanker for that um, validation because you have it for yourself and then people give it to you automatically and I think that um, for a festival to push you know something like this is so important because it's done on a larger scale and then 
your individual value adds up to people, you know, giving you that space to value yourself. And then it all kinds of, you know, falls comes into, together. Comes together. Yeah. 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 But it's, it's so important for it to start here first. And then for a group like this and for a festival like this to then push it, you know. And I think it's really beautiful because we need it. You know, and it, it more than we need it and we're waiting for other people to do it, we want it and we must, we must make sure that we have it. Um, yeah. You I know, don't know if that, did that answer your question? It did. Kind it of, did. Yeah. It did. Absolutely. No, I, you know, Aishwarya was saying to me that I hope someday we come to a point where there isn't a need. Absolutely. But we're not at that point. No. We're and, very far from yeah, that point. And you know, like... I feel like I have grown up in privilege where there hasn't been a need ever. There is no difference between, you know, what a girl, it's not related to gender. It's what you bring to the table as a talent or as a, as a brain or whatever, or as a human being for that matter. But I mean, the world is not like yeah, that. That's not the truth of the world. Yes. Absolutely. And we have to demand it and we have to live out that, uh, live out the change that we expect yeah. Yeah. and choose it every time meanwhile you have become the queen of period yeah, dramas. the streaming platforms, oh, the streaming platforms. <laughs> and period dramas <laughs> but but i you know i was just wondering i mean talk to me about working in long form uh, because you have to stay in love with this character much longer how hard is that i think for me, it first starts with staying with the director and the team for that much. Correct. Longer. Correct. You have to be in the love with those people first. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, because I mean, you you also kind of know me. I'm so instinctive and I'm so like everybody is a care bear. So I need to feel like that when I step onto a set. Mm. That everybody is a care bear, but they will whoop my butt and make me work hard. So I love the challenge and the nurture, and it goes hand in hand for me. And I need to feel that first because it's. It's like running a marathon with these people. So you have to love and respect them. I must. And I'm that person. It starts there. And then you're so right about playing that person. Because it's not like you play that person for like 40, 50 days. And then you're done and you move on to the next. Here you're really living with that person. And how much ever I'd like to say that, you know, I switch on and switch off. So it's between cut and action. But, but you're doing that for that much longer, you know. And... Uh, Having said that, I do feel for possibly the way that I am or the way that I function, for me, it is about being present just between that action and cut. So it is about being present in that period. And then you throw that period into, I mean, I'm talking like this is some memento or something, but then you throw that period into a loop. And you say that that loop just goes on that much longer. Right. So being present at that moment is still the same, whether it's film or whether it's long format, because... Your, usually your um, your takes are just that much. So I think for me, I do go from that present moment to another present moment to another present moment. That is that is one way that I have dealt with this difference. But the, the other way is practical differences. Like, you know, your schedules. That many po more people whose schedules have to match yours. And those are very real yeah. things, you know. Yeah. Um, also the fact that... Um, how much ever one says that, you know, it doesn't matter what the format is, at the end of the day, it does because you can't take on anything else. But these are very practical things. I, I saw it more as a practical difference. But in terms of living with the character, I actually, you know, there, ha there have been points where I've been like, oh my God, another day. <laughs> another day of being her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I quickly spin it around in my head that another day with you know, Vikram sir and his team, another day with uh, Sanjay sir and his team. And that does feel quite amazing because you get that much more time with these people. Yeah. So it's a combination of those two things. I'm not sure uh, it's very clear in my head what the difference is. And I don't think it is yet, even though I have done enough. But yeah. But how lovely. Yeah. Like you said, to get to spend more time with them. Yeah. How amazing. It, I really love that. Yeah. And, you don't get that on a film because it's on a film it's there and then you're out and then you're on the next thing and here you literally keep coming back to the same thing and honestly these parts that I have done whether it's Sumitra or even in Hira Monday or whatever these are really scrumptious parts you know so it's just like I get to do this for that much longer and learn on set for that much longer.
and with yeah. sanjay to he could just be shooting forever <laughs> and i will be there forever <laughs> You know, speaking of Vikram, I remember um, the last time we met was just after Jubilee had uh, yeah. come out, yeah. and uh, you know, I I said to you, my God, you were just you look so stunning, and you said to me, but I want to hear about my performance. Do you feel, Aditi, that the way you look distracts from people noticing your acting skills? I mean, can beauty be a burden? You know, such a like. it's such an important question and a question that possibly we need to you know deal with earlier in one's life you know um, maybe i grew up in an atmosphere where it wasn't a burden it really never was and um i remember i mean my my family never made me feel self conscious i also grew up with a very beautiful mother and grandmother so it was never a thing you know um then i was in you know i i very seriously danced for many many years i danced since i was 5 years old and i had a wonderful teacher leela samson who also comes from a school where you know there is this thing of there there is an there is an artistic form which is way bigger than you it is way more beautiful than you and you're there's always, no vanity in it yeah and there yeah. is no vanity in it yeah. it is all you're always striving to make the art form beautiful you know so you take yourself out of it and i know it's very philosophical and it's possibly tough for a kid but when you're constantly seeing that around you even when you're growing up you're not like it, it you're not self conscious of it so for a l- long time i didn't even realize it you know and i was not ma- made a- aware of it but obviously you you get to know and and i remember when i was a teenager we were doing a very big concert and i was the youngest of the the lot that used to perform and leela ka came to me backstage and said addu if anybody comes backstage and said addu you look so cute such a pretty girl i'll be very upset with you and that time i was like that's not fair was so mean <laughs> and then but later i realized the value of it you know to not allow anything to come in the way of your artistic form the industry and obviously there is a you know i i mean there is a reason i was tempted to be a heroine and you know like whatever and i do love all the trappings of it but i'm constantly 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 so aware of the fact that what it is that i do is so magical and way bigger than anything i can ever dream to be as an individual so i'm always aware of that so it doesn't affect me but i do see that possibly it affects people who around me or people who make decisions of how to cast me where to cast me etc 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 but i try not to let it come in my way and in fact i think my life really i've and i've always said this changed because of money so and because i did got to really day and when i realized that you know it doesn't have to come in your way you can be on a screen with a red nose no makeup on your face and what what the how the director sees you is how people see you and okay you're lucky if they see you as beautiful and and there are people who also value you for the for what you bring to the table and if there are people who don't and only see this then you have the power within you to say no i want more and i know it's very tough and and i have kind of i mean it, i'm not being a victim here I realize now that it is it is something that I need to be aware of but I try not to let it be a burden on my head and if it is on other people's heads I can't change it you know and I also need to be authentic to myself so if tomorrow I say you know I will shed all vanity and do something the fact is that it should not look inauthentic you know that I'm trying too hard or it should be for the right reason yeah you know uh, not because I want to prove a point to somebody because it is also about the expansiveness of the people who are you know looking at me for certain things they're also artists so i i i must you know trust them and also say that it is also about how they see the world how they see beauty how they see artists and i can't take the onus of that so i will will keep trying i will keep pushing boundaries but i must be authentic to me and who i am and push boundaries like that and do it in my way Yeah. yeah of course yeah absolutely um speaking of money sir uh, you always said that yeah. you became a heroine because you wanted to be a money ratnam heroine so what are the other sort of checklist uh, uh director names 
it was actually mani sir uh, sanjay sir and there was ritu parno ghosh um of course ritu parno ghosh uh, isn't with us so that would never happen but these were the three that uh, i sort of watched um and i was like i have to inhabit these worlds um but if i were to tell you a checklist now uh i always feel like when you have little dreams then you shouldn't really share them but some of these i've already said before so i'll just tell you so there is vetri maran dying to work with him uh i don't know if i can ever inhabit his world i hope that he will create a world where i can inhabit it i thought the same about neeraj ghewan and i did inhabit his world i wish that and you was were so good. good you were so good at thank it. you thank you mm, and uh, uh tyagarajan kumara raja love mari selvaraj amazing yeah uh so the director who made uh, ante sundarani ki vivek atreya then of course in hindi is anurag basu zoya akhtar so many people i'm dying to work with neeraj again i don't know what a great list there is more there are more there are so many incredible directors today malayalam director oh my god i'm dying to work with basil joseph who's now become an actor so i don't know what's going to happen and he's so good as an actor he's so good he's oh fantastic oh my god yeah yeah so this is the roster and it sounds it looks it sounds amazing yeah. i hope all of this happens and you in a vetri maran film henna dying i mean <laughs> First day, first show. Can you I'm there. Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> Can you put this out in the universe for me? How fab! Also, I have to tell you, the last time I was at Cannes, I was so excited because um, it was my first time there, and uh, Sabia had given me this. I was wearing Sabia, and he'd given me this bindi and this scarf and whatever, and I did look like I was from some other land. So when I was walking to the red carpet, everybody was complimenting me, and I was enjoying myself. Like, thank you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, you like the bindi and all this drama I was doing, and I was really enjoying myself. And I totally forgot that there's a red carpet that shuts, and I have run and just about made to the red carpet. This time, because I was with Laura, and I didn't have to do all this. I was like, aye. That is sad. So you were running. I ran <laughs> to the red carpet. Yes, I was whooped, and I was like, "Oh my God!" And I ran, 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 ran. See, now this is the stuff no one tells us about. <laughs> it all looks so glamorous, right? Yeah. But this is the other side of it. Hussing and panting, <laughs> and then you just why? And because they have your name and all, right? Just like we are waiting for you. Literally, I have to catch a flight, and I was like, "Sorry, sorry, sorry, sorry." <laughs> well, I was <just> like. <laughs> Now your can veteran Aditi thank you so much <laughs> and hopefully next can we do it at yes, the Riviera Yes please yes yes Hey this is Aditi Rao Hydri and I just spoke to Anupama Chopra about my can experience if you like this video like and subscribe to Film Companion You've been watching FC at Can 2023 in association with travel partner Air France smartphone partner google pixel beauty partner l'oreal paris media partner ndtv and travel trend partner skybags